Hey guys, what's your name? Back with another video today. I'm gonna be doing something awesome. I'm gonna be building a giant tree, and I'm gonna be showing you how to do that. And literally anybody can do this with just a little trial and error. Now, I haven't made that many of these trees because I don't generally need that many of these trees. Um, but I've been really enjoying making these lately. Um, and it's just been getting easier and easier as I do it. Um, so I thought I'd show you guys how to do that because um, these trees uh, really fill up a lot of space. They look awesome. Um, and the more time you spend uh, detailing them, uh, the better it's going to look. Um, but so for demonstration purposes, I'm not going to put tons and tons of work because I don't want to bore you with a 40-minute video. Um, now, basically, we need a trunk, so we're gonna basically going to uh, use the spike command to do that. Now, what we need to do first is we need to be able to make more than one selection. Normally, when you have your... Uh, fa, you know, wand, you can make one and two selections. Well, we need to be making more than that. So we're going to do cell, which is short for select and then convex. But generally, I just do um, cell and then convex because you can tab it and it's a little faster. Um, but now that I'm in the convex, now what I can do is I can left click and then right click and then continue to right click. And what that's going to do is that's just going to add um, even more selections to my brush uh, more than just uh, the one and two. Um, so uh, left click is number one. It's always going to restart the entire selection. So if you, uh, let, let's give a little bit of a visual. So here's the left click and then here's going to be the right click, right? Oops, uh, left, left click and then here would be right clicks, right? So they're the same, um, click they're both right clicks not left clicks to restart you'd come back here left click again and then you would continue doing that so that's that's the general idea of what we're going to be doing so all we have to really do is i'm going to use the slash slash one and slash slash two commands um, to make my life a little bit easier you can of course just build yourself up a, a tree or whatever if you'd like to do that too um, but i'm just going to kind of fly around to the air and do it that way. So what we're going to do is we're going to do our uh, slash slash one, which is just our first position. And then we're going to fly up a little bit. It doesn't really matter where. We're going to just go off to the side a little bit, off to the side a little bit, and then off to the side a little bit. Okay. And now what we're going to do is we're going to use the spike command, which is, well, this command. You press enter to use the, or to see the usage so that you can refresh your memory if you ever need to do that. So what you're going to do is we're going to do spike and then 133, which is just emerald block. You can do the same thing with that. It's just the number ID um, to that. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to do size one, size two, and size three. Now, what this does is basically it's the start size, then the middle of the, the middle size, and then the end size. So basically, if we want, uh, let's say 10, seven, and then uh, let's go with like four or something, right? What that's gonna do is it's going to make a tree look well like that. As you can see, it goes from very thick to fairly thin. You can even do this to an extreme and do really thin um, lines. And that's actually how I did uh, these spikes on Verona, which I'm very happy about. Um, you can, I'm going to make a tutorial on how to make the uh, terrain around that and just that whole thing. But for now, I'm just going to be using this for a tree. Now, I like this shape, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to keep that shape. But of course, I'm going to go back to the thicker branch because I think the thicker branch uh, looks great. But instead of having to use your spheres and stuff to kind of build that up and do lots of um, blending by hand. This is just a super easy way. Um, you can make it super straight if you want. If you don't want, it, it is really all dependent on what you want. You can play with it as much as you want. So, you know, and sometimes you're just going to have to undo it because it doesn't look good, and that's totally fine. So what we're going to do is we're going to just go somewhere on the um, trunk where we want to branch. And so then we're going to do slash slash one to reset our selection, and then we're going to just kind of come out. Uh, generally, I do three to four um, selections. I'm going to do a fairly large selection here, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to see kind of what that looks like. As you can see, if you use the same selection, sometimes it might look good, but for the most part, it's not going to. So what you want to do is you want to lower this 
uh, selection. So it looks a little bit smaller and it just kind of blends into the thing. Sometimes you're going to have to actually do a little bit of blending by hand, but for the most part, you're not really going to have to do too much of that. But now I have a giant uh, branch coming out here. Um, and then what I can do back here is I'm going to come down here and I'm going to do the same thing. It's going to come over here, slash slash two, slash slash two, slash slash two. And then I'm going to get myself another giant branch, which is always really nice. But the thing is, is it, what I'm seeing is I don't like this. So I'm just going to undo that. And that's totally okay. I'm just going to undo it and redo it. Uh, I want it to come around here and then here and then here. I don't know. We'll see. It's just kind of a little bit of a trial and error. I like that. That's perfect. Um, looks great. Um, now, now that I have that done, I, you can really, you, you know, you can just kind of do whatever shape you want. I'm just going to do this for tutorial purposes. So the tree is not going to look just fantabulous and amazing, but for the most part, we're just going to do this. So, uh, now we're going to come over here. We're going to add a branch here, but of course we're probably not going to add it as long now that looks again the the thickness of that does not match the thickness of that so what we're going to do is we're just going to lower that just a little bit and that's really just all the game is is just lowering it until it looks good and you're happy with it so uh, we're going to come over here we're going to come back here and then let's do that and then boom there we go Perfect. Um, again, we're just probably going to have to keep adding branches, and that's the, the the most simple part of this by far. And that's that's the really, really nice thing, is that it's really just a simple process that you just have to do over and over until you're happy with it. And now that we have our tree nice and branched out, of course, you can really go uh, however much you want when it comes to branches. You can add tons and tons of them, or you can just add a few really big main ones um, that you're kind of looking for. It really just all depends on what you want and what you're kind of going for. I did a medium kind of uh, like an in-between where there's not too many branches, but there's also not just like two or three branches so you just have to find the medium that you're looking for and that is what you're i mean it really depends it really depends on what tree you're making what type of tree how big you want it how small you want it so really just be creative with it this is just a tutorial on the process that you can use to be super super creative and do your own thing um now we have to do the leaves now the leaves is probably going to be the hardest part of this and also the easiest part of this is probably going to be the fastest part um but you have to get this part right otherwise you'll ruin the whole tree now you can of course just leave it as is and just have a bare tree that's totally fine and totally works remember to edit the tree to make sure that these limbs look like they're actually doing what they're supposed to be doing and so there's not little weird things uh, that's happening with them generally you want to have them connecting as much as possible make them look natural and nice and smooth and stuff like that so you might just want to spend a little bit of time to do that but for the most part it's just going to kind of do all of the work for you and you're not going to really have to work too too much now for the leaves we're going to get right into that all right to start the leaves we're going to come over here which is a fairly important part you don't want to necessarily do it on the leaves uh, or on the tree itself but basically what we're going to do is we're going to make a pattern that we've done before it's a very easy pattern to do um, it's it makes sense to a lot of people um, generally i'll have this pattern just kind of somewhere in the world but i'm going to show you how to make the pattern um to kind of help you out now basically what you're going to be doing is you're basically just going to be making squares um, up and down and up and down you just kind of do it wherever you feel like i use three colors just to kind of i don't know it, you can make it so that your tree is a little bit differently colored a little bit um you know your patterns can be a little bit different um but for the most part, you can just use one coal or sorry, one type of wool and that would be totally fine or one block or whatever. You could even just do leaf blocks and that would be totally fine um, if that's what you're looking for. For me, I just like doing this for uh, some odd reason. Um, but yeah, this is literally just place random blocks in random areas and then eventually it'll start filling itself out. And as you get this bigger and bigger, um, it'll look nicer and nicer. Um, and you basically can kind of choose the size. Now, 
Um, for those worried that this is going to take a million years to make leaf uh, patterns that are going to be large enough for this entire thing, then do not fret because I have a way to speed this up. Now, of course, you can just do it all completely by hand. I've done that. It doesn't take too, too long. And it's actually a pretty satisfying process to kind of have your leaf pattern grow over time. But if you're in the mode of speed, which most builders are because it's their job and they really need to, you know, they need the product out so that they can get paid so that they can start working on something else. Um, so basically you build your thing out, kind of depends on the size you want. I generally go for a medium sized, uh, shape and then what I'm going to do is I'm just going to select the entire thing and just like that I'm going to get rid of the glass and then I'm going to go pretty much in the middle of this um, now what I'm going to first do is I need to make myself a brush so I'm going to do slash br copy paste oh wait first because I was in the multi uh, selection making more than one selection I'm still in the uh, select con or uh, Convex, sorry. Um, so what you need to do is to get back to the normal one, two selection, you need to do sel cell cuboid. And that will just allow you to get back into the uh, first position and the second position. Super easy and super simple like that. Um, but now we're going to go back into the, uh, we're going to go copy. And then uh, now that we have our thing bound, actually, I don't know if we have our thing bound. Uh, we have to do BR, copy, paste, and then minus R, which is a very important thing because otherwise you will have to do your slash slash rotate minus 90 by hand. The BR, uh, copy, paste, and then minus R will basically just automatically rotate it for you and you don't have to worry about it so much. Then what you're going to do is you're going to G mask air. That part is pretty up in the air. Why did that not work? I am not entirely sure. Let me make sure I selected this entire thing properly and then copied it and then it should work. Okay, there we go. Um, but that way you can kind of just build on top of this and kind of build it out to how large you want. Um, make sure to not have it super flat, make sure to not have it super um, thick. Um, it just really depends on what you want. Um, and then this is just gonna allow you to make the, uh, uh, the shape of leaf that you want and you don't have to worry too, too much about it. Generally what I'll do is once I get to that size, generally you can just either start pasting it onto the tree. Sometimes that's uh, simple. Um, my uh, my uh, recommendation for uh, making leaves is the smaller the leaf pattern is, the more control you have, but also the, uh, uh, you know, sometimes you just gotta, gotta, you gotta, you know, you, you just don't have enough time. So you're just gonna have to kind of do it a little bit different and just kind of have to speed that process up. And so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna speed that process up and then just make a little bit of a bigger uh, leaf pattern and just like that, not really too complicated. Now, normally I would make multiple of these leaf patterns to put on this tree. I'm lagging a little bit. I don't know particularly why. Um, but yes, normally I would make multiple of this leaf pattern um, so that the pattern is not the same. But for the um, sake of the tutorial, I'm just going to make one leaf pattern and use it for the entire thing. Now, remember that G mask needs to be on for this part. It didn't necessarily need to be on for that part, but it definitely needs to be on for this part. Otherwise, you're going to basically just cut off most of your uh, tree limb and that's not going to be good for you at all. So basically you're going to G mask air. Make sure that your mask is on air. You can also use the mask air. That works too if you're doing it with a brush. Now basically you're just going to kind of come to the end of these and then you're just going to paste it and it's really that simple. It uh, Sometimes you want to do a little bit different if you're doing a little different leaf pattern that's fine um, but for the most part I literally just put it at the end and it basically serves its purpose for the most part, depends on how big it is. Um, sometimes you're gonna have to place multiple as I, sh I will show you um, in just a second, but for the most part, it covers most of the area and it looks great. I think it looks fantastic. My leaf pattern is a little bit off. I generally like my leaf pattern to be a little bit flatter on the uh, bottom um, instead of just a little bit, like normally instead of it looking like, here, let me go up a little bit. 
um, instead of it, like normally I like it kind of like that where there's a nice flat bottom. Right now it's just looking a little bit like that. So it, it looks a little bit weird um, and I like it just a little bit flatter on the bottom, but generally uh, this will work. Um, now, if you want to cover it up a little bit more or the branch just feels really barren, then what you can do is you can just place another um, thing of leaves. But for the most part, just a single paste of a very large clump of leaves is going to do you well. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the entire tree. I'm going to turn off my G mask to do this. I don't really care if I select these trees. And then this is generally where the painting comes in. You can really paint it as uh, however you want. For the most part, I just change the wool or different wool colors into different leaf blocks and different green uh, foliage and stuff like that for the most part. Um, did I do that right? Make sure my G mask is off um, and replace it. And that should work. There we go, perfect. And then I'm gonna do a green wool can actually stay, um, but brown wool, which is 12, I'm gonna turn it into concrete, which I have thir or 13. And then the black, I'm just going to turn into, uh, I don't know, just turn it into 18. And that's just uh, oak leaves and then jungle leaves. And it just gives a nice little pattern, just like that, super simple and super easy. And then what you can do with your trunk is you can either just do a simple replace into, um, an, oops, into like a, um, you know, an oak or whatever, um, you can do, oops, you can do, uh, any, anything you really want. Um, generally what I'll do is I'll use a Perlin noise, so I'll just replace hashtag or 133 hashtag Perlin. Um, and then basically the size that you want the uh, splash pattern to be, which I generally put it at a fairly large splash size, and then you make another bracket, and then you put the IDs that you want. Um, generally, you can just kind of put anything you want. Uh, just for example, I can just put like, I don't know, three things, make sure to end the bracket, and then that's what it's going to do to the tree. So you can basically just pick whatever you want. Generally, I'll just go into my inventory and I'll just pick three things that look nice. Sometimes I want to go with a white tree so I get some, myself some diorite. Unfortunately, I don't have the new 1.17 block, um, and that's okay. But then I just kind of pick out my or pick myself out some nice white blocks. Not really too complicated. Well, let's 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 just go with a nice block. And then what I'll do is I'll put go into this. I'll make these. Um, I'll put the IDs into the um, bracket, and then what you're gonna get is just a nice white tree, not really anything too complicated. Again, the more detail you put onto the tree, the more uh, branches, the more different patterns of leaves, um, the better the tree is going to look, the more effort you put into it, the better. Um, you can put houses, you can hang lights, uh, different things like that. You can make staircases around. Uh, but yeah, this is how to make really large, massive trees fairly easily, and you don't have to put too much effort into it. And so, yeah, enjoy. Hopefully this was helpful. Um, thank you all so much for watching. I'm now not super sick. I might sound just a little bit off, but for the most part, I'm better now. So tutorials and videos should be uh, on to regular now. So Thank you all so much for watching. Watch these two videos. This playlist uh, is all of my other tutorials. So if you're looking to get better at building, then watch those. I Hopefully they'll help you, and I'll see you later. Peace.